Hey, it's Finesse. I'm out here at the West Coast Wrestling Company in Wildemar, California. I'm about to talk to Adam, who's today's Cali face. He's the owner of the West Coast Wrestling Company. He's going to tell you all about his business. He's also inviting anybody that would like to come down and learn wrestling who come down here to Wildemar, California. And he will teach you. He's going to introduce us to a couple of his students here, and they're going to show us some of their moves in the ring as well. So right now, we're about to talk to Adam, one of his trainers, and one of his students here at the West Coast Wrestling Company. My name is Adam Ginsberg. I'm the owner of the West Coast Wrestling Company and the head trainer here at the West Coast Training Academy, a school for aspiring men and women to become professional wrestlers and live their dream. We're located here in Wildemar, California. It's in between of Los Angeles and San Diego, right next to Lake Elsinore and Temecula, uh, right off the 15 freeway. It's a whole different aspect of California. You know, it's, it's not glitz and glamour by any means. Um, a lot of a lot of richer people live out here and buy houses in Temecula, wine country, and all that stuff. But uh, it's a different walk of life out here compared to, like I said, Los Angeles or anything up in Northern California. I have a, a guy who's been wrestling for a long time. Just uh, a few months ago, suffered a, a, almost a career-threatening uh, injury with a with a car accident. In the squared circle, he's known as Rockstar Cordova. Rockstar. Over here is when you when you talk about a new student, somebody that doesn't know too much about the wrestling business, that just walks in is very interested in what to do. They come here, and this is as fresh as you can get. Scott growing, eight weeks of professional wrestling training, showing a lot of dedication, a lot of heart, and he is as fresh as you can get in the wrestling business. Fresh meat, fresh blood, whatever you want to call it. This is Scott. And today we had a, a little program of Scott and uh, Cordova working out. Because Cordova's got a little bit more experience than he does. So that's the protocol of professional wrestling. The guys who have the, the experience and our veterans pass down the torch to the young guys and teach them what they know. Okay. So, so how are you liking it so far, wrestling? It's great. It's great. Um, so many things. It's like hard to tell me. There's little things that like a lot of people don't know that you're only as a wrestler are taking bumps. A lot of people are scared because you're basically gonna jump up and fall on your back. A lot of people think they're gonna get hurt. They teach you the best way to take those to minimize the injuries to yourself and to your opponent. Basically they teach you how the chemistry is gonna work in a match, how you wanna make sure to make the other guy look good, or keep yourself safe as well. Make it to where the fans are gonna wanna pay for another ticket for the next show to come back and see you. Thinking this guy was good enough that I'm gonna pay my money and come back again. Not thinking this guy just needs to take another year or two work on it again. No, this guy got it. This guy's gonna get it. I want to watch every single show he comes to. Every single minute he wrestles. So, uh, how long of training do you have to do before you get to finally like get in the as a? Everybody's skill level is different. Um, I started off training two guys. One guy had uh, wrestled for a couple of years, but he was he wasn't trained necessarily um, the right way. So he came down here and he got pretty much retrained correctly. Another guy that trained with him, they're both two guys, two stars right now in the West Coast Wrestling Company, started day one, took his first first bump. Uh, bump is where you fall on your back in wrestling, uh, in my ring. And it wasn't but eight months after that where they actually wrestled their first match here at the West Coast Wrestling Company. So uh, Scott says eight, eight, eighth week, uh, it may take him six more months before he's there. It may take him another year. It just all depends on everybody's progress individually is so different. I've had guys that got it in the first week and guys that are, are still floating around, you know, in their 10th, 12th month mm -hmm. not getting it. So I mean, it just all depends. Everybody's different. It takes a great deal of athleticism. I mean, you really got to be an athlete. It's not something that, you know, you can be joking a lot off the street and thinking you can do this. I mean, it does take a lot of hard work. A lot of heart and a lot of passion to do this. I mean, uh, I've seen uh, in my my years. Um, I was uh, uh, I originally was trained elsewhere. Uh, Jesse Hernandez, and school hard knocks, and uh, and I saw I saw countless countless people come through those doors and leave after the first day mm. because it's just really, I mean, these ropes hurt <laughs> just to bounce off the ropes. On your back, um, uh, falling on your back and taking the bumps in here, and, and, and the amount of energy that you exert, cardio conditioning is, I mean, it's through the roof. I mean, it's not just for anybody. And you really do, I mean, any, any guy that you see in there that is established and um, that's 
good worker out there, a good wrestler, um, they're, they, they put in hours and they work their ass off to get where they're at. I mean, that, and that doesn't take them to just coming off the street. That, that work, that's where the skill level comes Certain people can adapt to it quickly, others take forever or can't do it at all. That's the, the, the misconception a lot of people have is professional wrestling is phony or it's make believe or anything like that. Um, the best way to describe it, if, if a person just came off the street and had no idea about professional wrestling, it's, it's an art form. It's, 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 a, it's a movie, if you will. Um, a, a movie in which it's very interactive. You can't, you can't go pay $10 to watch a movie um, with an action sequence in there and jump out of your seat and cheer uh, to whereas here at a live event you can. And, and what these guys are doing is, is a performance. No one ever said it's, it's real or it's, or, it's, uh, or it's, it's supposed to be this this thing it's not, that's entertainment. And as long as people come with that notion that they're gonna pay their hard earned money to be entertained, that's what it's all about. A lot of times people just don't give it the right respect it deserves. And everybody has to work their ass off in this ring because it's, it's, it's dedication. It's about making an impact in the rest of the business. Um, you have too many guys that come in that just, that just don't know any better and they don't last but the guys that do make it eventually see the success that this wrestling business has. And when I say success, it doesn't mean financial, because there's no money in professional <laughs> wrestling. Everybody here can agree with that. So um, why do people do it? I think, I think it's stupidity. Um, <laughs> for, for, the, for the passion. I mean, you have, to, you, you have to be in the right mind to take a fall on your back. What do you guys think of that movie, The Wrestler? Have you seen it? My personal opinion, yeah, I've seen it. I mean, it's, it's true, I, I feel, in a lot of aspects. There's, there's a lot of guys out there that, that are Mickey work. Um, I think that movie showed the truth of professional wrestling. I really do. I think that, that that's the, the real beast of it. Um, and then there's the flip side to it. The flip side is that it's, that it's, that it's good, that people don't have to go that route. Um, it, it can be very rewarding. But, you know, that's my take on it, guys. I personally love the wrestler story of it, um, the <laughs> Mickey Ward's character, you know, he's, he's, he's a old Wiley vet, so I mean, but when I look at it, I mean, I relate to it, that's, that's basically my life, or at least trying to attain that, um, that amount of steady work, and uh, accidents would stop happening. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I, I, I think uh, he really hit on the heart of wrestling. Did. I mean, it did just take away the curse. It took away the curse. Yeah, it did. You got to see us. I mean, you you see what what we go through. Um, not all go make your works route with the painkillers and stuff. I mean, there's a lot of them that do that um, because when you're when you're that wrestler that's traveling from place to place and you're going, you just gotta suck it up when you got injuries, you know. And so some get hooked on the drugs, and it's sad because you know, obviously we lose a lot of good workers over the years. Like I said previously, professional wrestling, at least when I create this, this company and my goals for it, are to have people that are going through everyday problems with the creditors, with their bankruptcy, with their foreclosures, is come to a West Coast Wrestling Company production, leave all their worries behind, come sit down for the next three hours, and, and, and enjoy what we have to offer you. And we have the hybrid of professional wrestling with the, with the hardcore matches, with the scientific wrestling, with the tag wrestling. And with all that, I mean, we have, we have so many people that come in here with their families. And it's a, good, it's a good way for families to be reconnected. It's a good way for, for old friends to catch up. It's just overall a positive thing. And, I, and, I, and I, I stick to my guns on that. I stick to wrestling can be positive. We've all seen how it's been portrayed negatively with the Chris Moss story, with the Mickey Rourke movie. Um, with the mainstream media. Um, however, you have to find out for yourself. You have to actually go to a show and, and let us do our job. And that's the, that's the truth of the matter. For the best of professional wrestling, the West Coast Wrestling Company is, is it. It's where it happens. Um, you can reach us at westcoastwrestlingcompany.blogspot.com, uh, myspace.com forward slash West Coast Wrestling Company. 